Welcome to my latest episode of Weekly Insights with Joni, and the material is edited excerpts from my two acclaimed online courses, Finding True Love and Drive Through Make It Your Own, and they are both exclusively on Udemy.com. And we're going to focus today on step four of the four steps to blaze a path to your dreams. So here is step four to blaze a new path to your dreams. And the step is being carefree. You may have your own ideas about what being carefree means, especially in relationship to achieving your dreams. But when it comes to blazing a new path to your dreams, being carefree means four specific things. So let's look at what they are. One, letting go of control for how you believe things should be. And two, go with the flow by having an open mind. And three, have fun and enjoy your version of being carefree. And four, above all else, balance your emotional, mental, and physical energy. I like to go into a little more depth about what I mean by balancing your mental, emotional, physical energy when you're talking about being carefree. To let go of control and go with the flow can be one of the scariest things a person can do, especially if they're not used to being carefree. All sorts of what if scenarios can flood your mind. A lot of this comes back to the limiting beliefs we were taught about achieving our dreams such as sacrificing fun by staying busy, productive, and not slacking off. When we cut ourselves off from being open to new ways of achieving our dreams, while sacrificing our fun, our emotional, mental, and physical well-being suffers. This is because we are balanced with our true, authentic self. Like all things in life, being carefree requires a healthy balance of where we place our focus and energy. For example, you may already be carefree and it's easy for you to go with the flow, but there are times when being carefree needs to be balanced with some form of structure. On the other hand, you may pride yourself on being highly organized and structured in your life. But without balancing that part of your life with being more carefree, the path to your dreams is more difficult. So let loose as often as you can and enjoy the journey. There are lots of benefits to being carefree. So let's look at what they are now. One of the greatest benefits of being carefree is how it connects you to your authentic self and inner child. As children, we didn't need to ask for permission to be carefree, and we did not perceive it as slacking off and misbehaving. Being carefree as children was as natural as breathing. Therefore, by being more carefree, you balance your adult responsibilities with the playfulness of your inner child. Being carefree also releases tensions associated with self-imposed deadlines, endless sets of goals, people pleasing, and staying up with the media. All of these will have their place in your life. But when you believe they require your constant attention, being carefree is ignored. Aside from life-threatening emergencies, nothing is so important that you cannot create time in your day to be more carefree. What should you do when you want to be carefree, but you feel the resistance and that negativity of your inner critic speaks out to you? Go like this, be gone. And let's talk about how we actually get that inner critic off our shoulder. As I just said, resistance to being carefree is going to come from your inner critic. It will use limiting beliefs against you to keep you locked into a limited form of life. 
Your true authentic self, on the other hand, is all about you being carefree. Whenever your resistance shows up on a new path to your dreams, go inward and seek the guidance of your true authentic self. It is your birthright to be carefree and your true authentic self will show you the path to being so. To help you solidify all that we've been learning today and talking about, I'm going to guide you now through four powerful journal prompts. Create some time after this episode to journal your answers to the following. One, what limiting beliefs about being carefree are holding you back from enjoying more of your life? And two, what areas of your life would you like to be more carefree in? And three, what areas of your life are you over controlling your desired outcomes? And four, how would being more carefree benefit your dreams coming true? Being carefree is all about your energy and about doing. So let's go through a three-step action item to solidify these new ideas. Create some time after this episode to engage in this three-step action item for being carefree. One, identify what areas of your life can you slow things down and be more carefree with. And two, imagine which of your innermost desires and dreams can receive a major boost of positive energy from you being less controlling of how they show up in your life? And three, what kind of carefree activities have you been wanting to do but haven't? Take time to daydream about you engaging in these. Feel into the experience as if you are literally doing that activity. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode and to sign up for my acclaimed online courses, Finding True Love and Drive Through Make It Your Own, visit udemy.com, type my name, Joni Marks, in the search box. And until we meet again, please remember every morning to look into your mirror, smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend for I am came into this world to be myself for that I came. Thank you and all my best.